Where? What were we doing? <laughs> what were we doing? All right, Caleb. Did we die? Hell no, nah, bro. We're clean as shit. That is the least clean. Oh yeah, clean right. as shit. <laughs> Clean as oh. shit is good. Also, like saying fun as hell. Look at this. It's probably not fun there. You yeah. make a good point. It probably shouldn't be fun. Maybe they mean like I'm a demon. This is look at that. This is what makes me want to have a butt slam more than anything. I do miss it. Do you think we should bring it back? We can. I mean, like, does it? Do we lose it? Like, no. Or we like, just, I would just have we're to just kind of shifting it around, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's not even shifting around. Like, there, we have. We, you can put it on anything. Yes. Okay. Yes. I I do. It's not like materia. Like. Like the challenge of trying to make kick work, but it looks like it's kind of unusable. Kick is very usable. You very usable. <laughs> it's just that like this horde, you know. We just don't have like a good AOE right now, right? You know. But is kick like kind of an uncomfortable input? No, it's the same as the butt slam. It's, oh really? Yeah, it's just yeah. a. It, basically, what it is is there's like certain skills that you can like attach to your weapon. Yeah. And then every weapon, when you press a button, it will do that skill. And in, mm. on the one weapon, it's the butt slam. Which can also be, I think, a spell or a couple other things. So does the kick cost mana? Uh, it might, but it, it, I don't think it does any damage, Barely. so it doesn't. It's not really like a big expensive thing. It's, I see. It's I more see. like a get the fuck away from me than anything. Yo, this is okay. So it's sort of a CC, a CC, a crowd, crowd control. control. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the kick, not really. More the kick like is for the individual dudes. More like get the fuck away from me control, like when you're dueling or something. Mm, it, it, it's to break guard. Yeah, break it's to break guard. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's not meant to do damage, so it doesn't cost that much. Like, kind of an OTG of sorts. Yeah, pretty much exactly like an OTG. You guys, stop it. Stop it. Actually, stop the it. kick is not an OTG. <laughs> the butt slam? The butt slam might be. <laughs> it's like, oh. barely an OTG. I don't, I don't know if there is OTG in this game. I can't think of... There's no way. I can't think of an enemy that I've ever done that to. <laughs> Look at this. When they hug me, they give me the ick. Look at Ooh. that, and they spit on me too. And they and and you're getting rotted up. Yeah, it's they give me the all, ick. It's just all bums. I just thought you meant like in general, it's gross. Oh, I see. No, these guys are cool. Look at him. He's waving his hands like he just doesn't care. Yeah. I want to party with this guy. I, like, I was thinking he was just like feeling a religious song. <laughs> you're the meaning in my life. These are the. Uh, these are the. Uh, Background singers in Josh Jam's Hey. <laughs> oh, they're bad at their jobs. <laughs> I'll never have to take down a horde like that again, I hope. You know those plastic tubes that have like the little thing in it and you turn them upside down and they go, Oh, oh yes. yeah. Yes. Yeah, we we're talking I about those. I really didn't think I was going to know what you were talking about. <laughs> and then I instantly did. <laughs> It's one of those you times. You zoned out a little bit like Alex is bringing something up again. Always doing that yeah. thing where my Venn diagram like, no doesn't cross over. No one's going to understand. Right. And no then you were like, wait a minute, wait a minute. I love those things. I was wait like, a minute. I'm right there. Childhood toy. Wait a minute. <laughs> uh, 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 Were you talking about shaking him? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> That's gross. I love him. Wild thing that people are like, oh. kids are going to love this. <laughs> Dude, and they do. They do. We do. To this day. Wait a minute. Yeah. Hold the phone, brothers. Remember Isn't we this where you here? just were? Yeah, okay. Yeah. But. But now we got Purpel item. Excuse me, sir. Rain wow. sticks? Almost, almost better, if not superior. Not as fun. Rain sticks is like an adult thing, so I'm going to break this. Which one is a rain stick again? Big, long one where you do it slow and it sounds like a the, rainstorm. Please make good. the sound. You can't. It's like, I mean, it's like, sounds like fucking rain on, on paper. Really? Yeah. It's like a lot, and it's like big and long, and like 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 a big giant summer sausage. It's just getting worse the more I try. Like holding holding like ten broomsticks at the same time with. It's just like beads falling down and hitting all everything stuff down inside, on the way. Yeah. yeah. Mm. What's that one game where you like drop the thing in and it like? Pachink. Yeah. No. Pachinko. No, it's like a game where you like pull out one stick at a time. Kerplunk. Yeah, kerplunk. Mm. It's like a it's like kerplunk. Oh, this guy. He was pointing down there He's to pointing uh, it. Where we were. Where we already went inside, right? Yeah. He's like, <laughs> little did, dick. Did, what? <laughs> That's you. <laughs> That's where your little dick is. <laughs> what? <laughs> huh? It's down there. What are you oh, talking about? Have you seen me, your little penis down there? <laughs> oh, boy. Yo, what's up with the Tweety Bird dogs? 
Oh no! Yeah, what happened to these dogs? They get invi- in- infected by the cartoonification virus. <laughs> they're like king kangaroos. They're like rat dog, rat dog kangas. Rat dogaroos. This isn't good, is it? You got them. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Not one on my list or anything, but like I don't it, even know what that is. It looks cool. We can try it if you want to like see it. World of flame. So this is bad. They are hitting each other oh. though. Oh. Whoa, mama. Dude, that one knocked that other one out. They're like T Rexes almost, too. That's exactly what they're. They're D Rexes, bro. Yeah. <laughs> that's exactly what's going on. Ted was like, oh, that's good. He's like, let me just go ahead and type that out. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it solved nothing. It solved nothing. <laughs> I don't like this man. Hey, man, why is he lurching after me hey, like fucking hey, Peter Lorre hey, over here? Hey, hey. Yes. Please he's come like, here, Mr. Mario. He's like enjoying it more than he wants to kill you. He's like, <laughs> he is a dog. He likes the chase. You yeah. Know? All right. I can smell your fear, but I'm actually nice. I can also smell the sausage you had for breakfast. It I excites smell, me. I smell your butt. <laughs> Never want my dog to be voiced by Peter Lorre. <laughs> I don't want anybody to be voiced by Peter Lorre. He's it's, dead. It's okay. Don't worry. No, no, gone. no. He can come back, man. Maybe the AI Peter Lorre. It is I, AI, Peter Lorre. I only want to kill you if you run. How long do you think it's going to be until there's like a movie that's like everybody in it is like a dead, very famous celebrity? Pretty soon. Like probably. a like a Ocean's Eleven-esque movie, but it's like... Mm-hmm. Dude, fucking Harry Potter's almost there. Harry Not Potter. with the kids, but like almost all the faculty. Like, they, hey man, we still got Maggie mm-hmm. Smith. They're all yeah. dead? A lot of them are dead. Yeah, that's true. It's so depressing. They were old, though. They were. I, I mean, I didn't feel like it. Really? Like, even Hagrid. Dude. Fucking yeah, sad. Yeah. Well, okay, but those movies started coming out. 01, something like that? Yeah, like 20 years ago. Over 20 years ago. Uh, these dogs, what do we call them? Drexes? D-Rexes, yeah. D-Rexes. These Drexes burn good, huh? Drex burn good. Drex burn real good. Drex burn real good. Do you think there's any way I can, like... Drex burn <laughs> real good. Do you guys want a hyphen between the D and the R? Is there a period after the D, or is it a dash, or do you guys want (laughs) to... Do you think I can aggro... Is it like Xmas rules, or like literally like museum style? okay. (laughs) Did anyone else see that? That was was incredible. It was like a... You did some like matador shit just now. Oh, who's that? Hold on. See that little fellow? No, man, I'm fighting for my life. Give me a second. Give me a second. Oh, that guy? Oh! Oh! Are that you serious? That's not what I expected to happen. Night. Oh, uh, well, well, I ruined that opportunity. Sorry, bud. I? Yeah, thanks for your that sacrifice. That wasted your life, my man. Ball's back, seriously? Did we? No. That was just an item. I thought, oh. I Ball's thought, back from this guy, maybe. Let me... Ew. Please don't. She's a little vibrating jaw. <sighs> you know when dogs do that when they're like... Oh, 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 oh. They, like, vibrate their mouth. Do you know what I'm talking about? I actually do. Yeah, no, I don't. I actually do again. Some dogs are like... <laughs> My dog had that when I was just like... I didn't really know about germs much, really. You were just making out the dog. You made out hard with that Literally, dog. yeah. I would let him lick my teeth. Oh, and, thank God. Okay. And he would like... So not literally. <sighs> not literally. But, but <laughs> Almost Even literally. worse. You weren't sitting there, even like, worse you weren't sitting there like... Oh, you used oh. the dog like a toothbrush. Yeah. He licked my teeth and then his his jaw would just like... <laughs> just like Why would his jaw do that? I don't know. I'll never know. I will probably Ooh. never know. We got B-Rex too. Yeah. Yeah, these guys are assholes. This one is Beetlejuice vibes 100. Mm, I can see it. Come here. Ooh. Weirdly, it like gives me the worms oh, vibes oh, more than it gives me like uh, bird vibes. Oh no! Ooh, stupid ass! Oh, that's uh, that's Hello? almost Skeksy. Skeksy. Oh, you like mode. him, huh? Mm. Uh, no, I hate. Skeksy. He make you feel some kind of way. Huh? Ted is Ted is yeah, that yeah bad way. <laughs> Ted is that little guy that gets strapped into the chair. <laughs> Ted is Ted is Bill Murray in Little Shop. <laughs> and it's like, what do you think of this bird? He's like, oh, what's his name? <laughs> oh my god! The- oh yeah! Ooh, that's a great sword. If this was me playing by myself alone, I'd be like, equip <laughs> on that sword right there. If they- if I was playing this myself, I'd be like, I quit. <laughs> <laughs> I quit. 
Hi, buddy. Ooh. Playing like this makes me want to level up mind, but I think we're okay. What's mind? Yeah, more MP. Yeah, I mean, we really have very little. But we're fine. And But, you know, we can always respect. Yeah, we're good on that. We don't need to talk to we can, mama. We can baby up. Dude, mad respect. She can reprint us. She can, she can 3D print us again. She has technology. All smooth and anew. How do you guys feel about 3D printing? I'm fine with it. Never used it. No. Yeah. It mostly like it, it. It's like AI in the sense that it like lets people make shitty stuff easily. Mm. But there's great real applications of 3D printing that really make things accessible. And if you put in the care, you can make some really beautiful things with it. Just ask Jetpack. Is he oh, just 3D, 3D printing, printing stuff? Yeah. Huh. He's been making some amazing 3D printing stuff. Like, go check out his socials. Like, genuinely, he's like making like. Uh, he made the, some thermoses from Alan Wake. He made all kinds of stuff. <laughs> Didn't expect to hear that. He made like uh, some saws, some hand saws from uh, Evil Dead. Like he's, he's making some cool, like pretty realistic looking things. Mm. Some other prop stuff too. Okay, so the Earth is on fire here. That's kind of tight, huh? Like it's visually oh. tight. Hello? Oh, it's close to midnight. You guys did not need to be here. You try to scream. Oh, were the flames these guys? Every flame that you saw on the ground was actually a zombie burning that was already buried. <laughs> All the D Rexes. I'm sorry, but Ted, that rendition was incredible. Girl. <laughs> 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 Sounds like Roman Anthony from Daft Punk. Roman Anthony. Incredible. You know, there's some mystery about that. Roman Anthony? What do you mean? Yeah. Like, e equally credited as Roman Anthony and Roman Anthony. Where is he credited as Roman Anthony? I'll show you. Too long. It's been much too long. Since you've been close to me. If you have uh, a chance, there's a record <clears> called <throat> Daft Club. Hmm. I don't think you, we can play it here on. <laughs> I doubt it. Super Beard Bros. But there's a there's a version of oh. One More Time that's like the Romanthony cut, hmm. and it's like a fuck jam. Oh, it's great. Okay. Oh boy. Oh. Well, these guys are out here kamikaze time. I wish I thought of Fuck Jam sooner. Fuck Jam? Yeah. Wish you thought of a Fuck Jam sooner? Yeah, because I didn't really have a name for it. Oh, like a sex song? Yeah. You think you just had like a secret idea in your head that there's certain songs that are good for having sex? It's just like, oh, this song is the song that sounds like there's people having sex during the song. Okay, two very different things. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. Two very different things. I thought you meant like, in my life I've discovered that there are certain songs that I love playing while I'm having sex. <laughs> like, but I have a novel but I, idea. But I have no name for them. I thought that's what you were saying. I mean, not not too far off. You were just saying songs in general, some have a quality that have like a fuckable, ah! like a fuck sound to them. Yeah. Not not Ted's life. Right, right, yeah. right, right, right. We were right. talking the other day about, uh, what was it called? Ulterior Motives and shit. The song? Yeah. Ulterior Motives. See, that's, that's literally a fuck jam. That's like another, <laughs> right. that's a different kind of fuck jam. It's, it's what, the... Playing music is like the last thing from my mind. Playing? Yeah, playing music. Like, you mean putting on music? Yeah, I don't think about putting on music. Like, during when you're sexy about to times. Fun. Yeah. Oh, oh, wow. oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I just. Really? Not not that I'm against it. It's just like. It yeah. doesn't happen in my you brain. You got a lot on your mind. Time. You're not thinking yeah. about setting a tone. Do you, like that. Alex, yeah. put on music? Uh, Well, I have music on like pretty much all the time. So it, it like. It happens. It's rare that I'm like. Hold on, babe. But you're, you sure? Yeah. Like, let me just turn on some Got some it. fuck tunes. It's more likely that something is just a but, movie is playing but, or a but show. But is music playing a lot of the time? Historically, I feel like it's yes. It's a holdover from when I used to have other people in the house. Oh, like you're like uh, it's a courtesy thing or like a secrecy thing? Definitely. Well, back in the day, it was definitely secrecy. Mm. You know. I just think it's vibes. Well, that too, for yeah. sure, for sure. In my mind, it's all about vibes. It's turned into that for Brett. <laughs> like. Yeah, I, I, I put on fuck jams like there's like a fuck jam equivalent for like almost every activity that I do mm. like when it's when it's time to cook breakfast I turn on the egg jams mm. you know when it's time to have sex 
you know, like probably the fuck jams are already on because that's where my head's at. When it's time to poop, you put on some some the poop, stink the, tunes, the boo-boo jams, <laughs> the stink tunes. When it's stink time tunes. to when it's time to put on music, you put jam jam. Yeah, I put on caca tracks. <laughs> so this town is cursed, and piss tracks are really short. Oh hi, is there any song that like gets you in the mood? Makes me horny? No. Yeah. No. 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 I've never been like. Oh my god I got a bone right now This song <laughs> Back in the day There used to be like Sexy music videos though Like I'm sure there still are But like I remember that like There was a time in our lives When I used to watch Music videos for like Several hours a day hmm. One of my one I watched of, MTV One of my exes Always did Classic rock When it was time to Boogie Well give me an example What, what are we talking Like Aerosmith Yeah Blink 182 I think Nigga, if you don't get out of this room right now, if you don't get out of this fucking room, ah! he's right he though. What did no, he say? no, that, that's like thirty years no! ago. No, he's right though. No, he's right. No, I'm pretty sure that was in the mix. Whether, that's not the point. My point, Ted. Is, my point is, bread is bread is bread is having whiplash right now. She would say classic rock to an Alexa, so it's Alexa's fault. Yeah, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, yeah. Okay. Still, okay, still mix. here's the problem I had with it. The problem I had is that you didn't go like, man, you know what happened once? That's what's fucking me up. The fact that you weren't as like offended and flabbergasted at, at that categorization as I was. You know what I'm saying? Well, He's, granted, I was very music illiterate for most of my life. Is so that you, right? Yeah. Like very, like I only knew about songs because of Weird Al for many, many years. <laughs> I know many the, many years. I know the type. Yeah, I, see. I know the type. I see. Classic rock. Like I get that it is as old as classic rock was uh, was for us, but like there's you no reason of, to call it that. Well, you think of it as a genre, right? Exactly. But I but it really isn't. Like like uh, the like I told you when I turned on K Earth and it was playing my humps. Sure. Like but like the genre of Blink One Eighty Two is pop punk, is it not? It's pop punk. Power pop. There's a million things you could call, or you could call it right, like late, like late '90s, like like uh, pop punk. Sure, but the point is, there's like no reason to call it classic rock. I mean, it is classic rock. <sighs> You're just destroying. Brand. No, the issue is that like, like if it was the '90s, right? Yeah, and I oh. was listening to it. I wouldn't call it. Cla- I wouldn't call like. I wouldn't call it classic rock because it was contemporary, but anything else like like oldies, right? Like. On K-Earth. Yeah, I think oldies is like, it's a catch-all, but like oldies can still be broken down, the same way that like you, there's no reason to call Blink One Eighty Two classic rock in that context. Like if you're trying to describe the sound, calling it classic rock wouldn't help. You know what I mean? I what well, if I was trying to describe the sound, yeah, but Ted right. was saying. The, you know she listens to classic rock like this band this band Blink 182 right I'm starting to doubt it was in the mix but I think it was no we're talking about this now no we're talking <laughs> I think it was in the mix yeah I think it's very okay. likely like the, the, the albums that I used to listen to from Blink 182 are from like 1997 right mm. right that's, like I get it I get that that's it can be considered yeah. classic rock mm. all I'm saying is I don't think there's any reason to like categorize it that way based on the sound that's all I'm saying like there's no reason to call based it based on that. the sound is not why you categorize anything as classic rock that's what I'm saying. Uh, okay, but okay. So then, what would you call Aerosmith? Like aside from that, like '70s. Well, it depends on what era of Aerosmith. But like, if we're talking about like you know, their, yeah, you know, original Aerosmith. Like in the '70s, I would call them like uh, yeah, like kind of like metal, like er, like early first wave metal. <sighs> it's look, I get what you're saying. Power pop. Whoa, bro, really? Like, I would call Aerosmith rock. And be rock done and, with it. I wouldn't call them rock and roll. I'd call it like heavy metal, original. I can't get away with calling Aerosmith heavy metal. But it's but true. We're really getting. Mm, I don't know about that, baby. Like, I don't know. Like, we're getting we're getting the weeds here. You know, it's all it's all on the spectrum. The point the point is in in the early two thousands when we were listening to Kalo S, the reason that the songs were on there was because they were thirty years old and they're rock. I get it. Yeah, not because of any way they sound. All I'm saying is like. I don't know if there's anyone on earth at this point who, like, if you told them, like, it's like, what do you listen to? Some classic rock? Like, oh, yeah, Blink-182. That's all I'm saying. Well, I know, but, like, is Young Americans and by David Bowie and, like, any Aerosmith song in the same genre? No. You know what I mean? But they're both on the classic rock station. I get... 
I feel okay. Yeah. All right. We're moving on. We're moving on. We're moving on. Fuck those two pumpkin heads. Pumpkin heads are nothing, dude. Pumpkin heads are nothing. But you know what is there were something? Two of them. Oh, oh. Head over to patreoncom I thought you were making up. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> keep going. Keep going. This is good. Uh, don't be a pumpkin head. Ah. Oh, head over yeah. to patreoncom bros to support us uh, in our battle against capitalism and the algorithm uh, to do our own thing. <laughs> Uh, based purely on our reputation and what you guys like to watch, uh, ten dollars a month gets you thirty months, thirty days ahead on all our shows. Ten 30, gets you thirty. Ten 30 gets you thirty months. months be, uh, thirty months ahead. No, that's not ugh, true. Thirty but, months. But really you far do, ahead. But you do get to watch our uh, uh, like a uh, previews of our new show that Brett uh, is doing with Kelly. We're we're, we're, we're all there. We're, we're all, all there. there. But Brett is teaching Kelly how to play Street Fighter. Street Fighter Six. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, it's you know it's a format that you might be familiar with. Yeah, from back in the day. Yep. And uh, it's really fun. And it's on. Ooh. Patreon right now, and you can go check it out just for ten dollars a month. Pay as much as you want or as little as you want. You know, it's not it's not a big deal. It's just it's just something that oh. can help. And he's teaching Kelly, but honestly, I feel like I'm learning, and I hope all of you out there are learning too. That's Seems honestly, yeah, I'm glad really you brought good. that up. That's honestly the point. Like, it's yeah. not just for Kelly. It's for people that want to learn how to play fighting games in general, yeah. or if you already know and you want a refresher, and like you know, Kelly's like a great like uh, substitution for yourself. <laughs> you can kind of like. Imp- imprint upon her very easily. <laughs> oh, you get know what I'm saying. You guys get what I'm saying. You guys, you guys get it. You guys go check it out. Patreon, great place, great website, <laughs> great website. It's a great, great restaurant. A wonderful restaurant. <laughs> I heard that that was his idea. I heard it was Carl's Carl Weathers' idea to make his character cheap on that show. Like they yeah. didn't, they didn't write that. That was him. Yeah, that's the story that I read when uh, he passed away. Is Herwich. Uh, Herwitz, Herwitch, 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 the sandwich from Ike's Love and Sandwiches, based off Mitch Herwitz. Uh, no, uh, Mitch Herwitz was talking about how he went to Carl Weathers. Like, mm. wouldn't it be funny if you were like, he was like, I, you know, just making a bunch of jokes about Carl Weathers, and he was like, he went into the meeting and Carl Weathers was like, the only thing I don't want to do is make a bunch of jokes about Carl Weathers and Predator and stuff. And he was like, oh, that's funny, because like, <laughs> that's absolutely not what I wanted to do. Whoops. And so he was like, what if I was just really cheap? And it's funny. <laughs> Mitch Hurwitz was like, okay, let me get this on record. You just want to be a guy who's really cheap in the show? And he basically like ran to the writer's room with like so excited that that's what he wanted. It's a good bit. Hilarious. I get all my cars at police auctions. So funny. He's full of stuff like that. Oh, oh. Oh! So I fucked up. How did that guy see you? He was facing me, I think. I kind of want to go to a police auction, but I, I never hear about them. Yeah, that's right. Like, yeah, how do you real. find out about yeah, that yeah. shit? You got to be part of the Twitter group, I'm, bro. Honestly, I bet you if you went down... Is there, like, a Facebook group? <laughs> like, probably. Like, honestly, like, if you just go probably on the Twitter, like, of the police department, they probably announce that shit. Huh. I, I, uh... I follow like the police updates in my area just oh, to yeah. see what's going on because sometimes I hear stuff happening or whatever and I want to know what it is. Ugh. But uh, every once in a while it's like something like that, like, hey, the ball is happening or whatever. Mr. Freeze is going to crash it and take <laughs> the police chief. <laughs> I'm sorry? I've just never heard it's of a, a policeman's a ball. I've never heard of a policeman's ball outside, outside of, the, con- of yeah. Yeah, outside oh, the context oh, of like oh, a oh, super oh. villain coming. There you Ooh. go. There you go. I'm trying, man. This is fucking difficult. God, these enemies are... They're cool. I like them. Where's the other one? Oh! Get him, get him, get him! That was so tight. What the hell was that? He got hit by, like, a fucking falling battlement? It was him. It was his homie, I think. There was a fucking piece of bricks. I uh, was some of these bones, maybe. Oh. Cool. <laughs> he said, oh, okay. All right, cool. Also... Did we already go down in that hole? We can make two. All right. Which hole are you talking about, baby? The one right behind you? Yeah, that's where we fought the two pumpkin heads. Oh, right. Okay. Cool. Now we're over here in the bone zone. It's like coral. Yeah. It's yeah. Like, it's like when it's you like go... It's like calcified. Yeah. yeah. When they show you like a documentary about how we're fucking up the planet and it's like no way to turn it turn it back and... All the coral's just the, totally dead. The damage is already done. All dead. Yeah. All dead. All dead. Oh, fuck. Oh, you, fuck. Once oh, thriving fuck. with life. The world is no longer full of But things. no, somebody needed to have their fucking spray cans. Fucking <laughs> look, gasoline man, I, My hair has to look good, okay? I would love a just like totally biting documentary. Like just <gasps> like, ripping into the audience? Yeah. Don't say biting. Don't say ripping. Right now? 
Too soon? The dogs heard it. The dogs like, that sounds like a good idea. I like that. Thanks, Alex and Ted. I'm at Also, <laughs> homie. Also, homie. head over to patreon.com slash superbeardbros <laughs> for more. We need bites for Bart. Bites for Bart. 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 <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? Get, what are you Ted saying? To get out of the episode. <laughs> forgot it. Forgot how his name started for a second. Bites for Bart. <laughs> Bites for Bart is the name of this episode. Absolutely. Oh shit. He just <laughs> negated my heal. Did you lose it? No, it's like I healed and then he did the exact same amount of damage. Wow, that fake. Did you see it? Oh my god. Oh, get bodied, you idiot! Wait, what did he hit? Just the ground? The ground, homie! <laughs> he like oh. sprinted to the ground and died? Dude, has he been up here the, the whole ground, time? The ground, homie! Has he been up here the whole time? <laughs> March. The ground, homie! <laughs> March, what did he hit? I got hey, I, March. <laughs> Season one, Homer. He I kind of want March just to be prophetic all the time now. <laughs> <laughs> It'll come from the ground. <laughs> Fuck this like, area! That's all she does. Like, March just starts Ooh. having like seizures and like speaking in tongues. <laughs> the dead zone, March. Yeah. <laughs> the March zone. <laughs> March versus the dead zone. Oh God! <laughs> the world will end in ice. <laughs> What'd you say, honey? <laughs> oh, it's raining. Epa. <laughs> Epa. Oh, it's so funny to me. It's like almost biting her own tongue yeah. off. Seizure on the kitchen floor. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, it's happening is, again. The funny thing is, I've seen all those like in between frames from The Simpsons of like Marge and shit, so I know what that shit would look like. Right, right. right. Oh, Wait, stop. he walks among us, but he's not of us. <laughs> Mom has really been freaking us out lately. <laughs> I love it. I Don't love have it. a premonition, Mom. Beware oh. the false prophet from the east. <laughs> 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 Oh, come on, so you good. ass! Of course, he would bite. Right the next there. great storm will be our last. <laughs> what? Okay. That's March. like when that's like okay. those things where like your kid like says some shit that you're like, <gasps> you should know that. Yeah, you should know about that. Yeah. One world currency. Yeah, they don't know what they like. The kids don't know what they're talking about, but they like say some shit that sounds like so evil. That's one of the uh, main like. Uh, uh, pieces of, of evidence criteria boxes that needed to be checked in order for the catholic church to be like all right maybe you should have an exorcism is someone speaking a language that they like have no business speaking you know like a kid like from biloxi like suddenly knowing like latin. ancient yeah ancient latin yep and they're like that's not right yeah you know uh that's sort of anti-education though so <laughs> <laughs> how dare you know this I, I think mm? I don't think prophecies are a great storytelling device, but I love them every time they're in a story. Well, then you do think they're great. You just don't. You For think, me personally, I it's like but, a guilty pleasure. Maybe yeah. I, prophecies. I I feel like in general they're a crutch of sorts. Explain. Hmm. Let me ask you a question about the Messiah trilogy. Because I feel like it's no, no, no. I'm just I'm just I feel like it's used a lot. Oh, so you feel like it's just cliche? It, yeah, I think it's apt for that. Yeah, being a cliche. I mean, there's like myths of, like that are like that's the premise, right? Like, yeah, I feel like it happens often. Prophecies, like, yeah, having an in-story prophecy. Yeah, I think it is a. It it is it is a it is a it, a poor man's version. Of plant and payoff, yeah. But it's not yeah. a real plant because you're literally grabbing the audience's attention and being like, "Look at this!" Exactly. And then exactly. they go, well, "What the fuck does this mean?" And you're like, "You'll see." Yeah. yeah. As opposed to a real plant and payoff, which is where the plant happens and the audience goes, mm -hmm, "That's regular part of the story," and then later it's paid off and they go, "Oh, of course." Yeah. Uh, and yeah, I think yeah, plant and pay real plant and payoff takes effort, work, time, patience. But a prophecy is, I think, just a way. Uh, it could be. I'm not saying it always is, but it yeah. is. It can be a cheap we a cheap way to uh, uh, engender intrigue. It can be. Yeah. Yeah. I'll say. You know what's a good uh, a good one with a prophecy? Mm. Dune. Oh, I have not read or seen Dune. So. Dune. Dune like actually uses the idea of a prophecy 
in a literary way rather than and and like just writing some pulp. It's pretty good. All right, say no more. Yeah, I'm sure I'll get to it eventually. Yeah, you gotta you gotta do it. Uh, there's. I'm trying to just orient myself because I know there's like a really well hidden cave around here. Peep the map. Okay. Huh. Yeah, we're like on the edge here. Uh, it's like oh, so you can go oh that might be it right there. Hold on, I just want to see it before we stop. Is it like a thing you have to drop to? No, it's a thing you have to like climb across. To yep. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Okay. So I don't I don't know if we'll do that exactly Whoa! next time. We're good. Okay. Maybe we will. Maybe. <laughs> let me let me hop in there now. Maybe there's a side of grace. Uh, That's scary, bro. I think you got to go from the left a little bit more. Almost sounds like a meal order. I get a side of grace. Okay. Side wanna, of grace. Do you want to biggie size that? Whoa. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. a dead dog. They got that uh, at Chick-fil-A. I, I extra hate myself today. Let's get that big. <laughs> Let's supersize that. Ooh, too soon. Clean. Rip Morgan Spurlock. Who? Damn. Uh, you don't know who Morgan Spurlock is? Wow. Uh, supersize me. Did you ever see that movie, Supersize Me? Oh, the main guy? Yeah. He's dead? Yeah. yeah. Oh, damn. So you have seen it? I have seen it, yeah. Gotcha. I actually, I actually heard recently it was... He was hiding something about himself. He was a uh, scroll the whole time. Super alcoholic. Super scroll. Yeah, he, he was, yeah. Next time on Beard Bros, more current events. Peace out. Oh, yay. <laughs> <laughs>